If you ever edit videos, whether it's for yourself or for clients, I'm gonna show you an AI tool that's gonna cut your editing time down by a ridiculous amount. My name is Leslie Samuel, let's get into it. Okay, for a little bit of background, I make biology videos on my other YouTube channel, Interactive Biology. And I do the recording, the editing, the everything, the uploading, everything related to those videos. And the part that takes the most time is editing. It's one of those things where you hate it, but you love it. Now there's been a whole lot of talk about AI and what all these different tools can do. I'm a practical guy. I have two criteria for whether I'm gonna use a specific AI tool or not. Criteria number one, does it save me time? And criteria number two, does it enable me to serve my audience, my people better? If it's a yes to both, of course I'm gonna use it. And that's the case with this AI app. Now, my videos are talking head videos, similar to what you're looking at right now, where I'm explaining a concept, but then I'm also adding in B-roll and other animations and so on to bring the video to life. And this main shot that I'm doing here, the main shot that I do in those videos as well, I make mistakes. I have to do a bunch of takes. There's silences in between, and I end up having to go through and edit that video. I have to cut out the silences, I have to take out the mistakes and all that good stuff, and it takes a lot of time. That initial process can take me anywhere from an hour to two hours. Well, that's what it used to take me. Now, it takes me a few minutes. The app that I'm gonna use is called Time Bolt, and I'll have a link to that in the description below. By the way, that is an affiliate link, so if you use that, I do get a commission. But by the end of this video, you're gonna see why you want it. Let me show you. This is the Time Bolt app right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select that main file. So I'm gonna go to a recent video that I did. I'm gonna come to videos. I did a video on genetics, the dihybrid cross. I've got to pull that up really quick. And then it's going to start processing it. And this is where the magic happens. Here you can see it has certain parts highlighted in red. Those are all the silences. Those will automatically be taken out. I know, but that's not all. Okay, just check this out, right? I'm gonna press play and you're gonna see, it's gonna start from when I start talking and it's gonna cut out all of my silences. By the end of this video, you're gonna have a full understanding of dihybrid crosses. This is a process that will allow us to track the inherent. All right, it looks like I'm good for a little while, so I'm gonna just jump across here and show you. Crosses. We have to brush up on a few key concepts. First, there's genotype. Look at that, it's cut out, it cut out all of these things automatically. All of these places where I'm like, okay, let me take a break, and maybe I made a mistake, so let's see. Genetic makeup of an organism. This refers to the genetic makeup of an organism. All right, so I said that twice. So what I'm gonna do now, uh, this is the part that it just takes a few minutes to do. So I'm gonna come here and say, all right, that's a mistake. I'm gonna just click here and now the mistake is gone. There's genotype. This refers to the genetic makeup of an organism. Then there's phenotype. This I refers know! to the physical expression of those genes. And I can just go through and check to see. Short. We also have the, un we have different. Okay, so I can see there's another mistake. I'll just cut that out really quick. But as you can and see, key, coding for short. We have different genotypes for the height of the pea plant with the big T allele. And I can just go through and say, okay, uh, this one was a mistake. Listen to it really quick and say, this was a mistake. So just do this part. And within minutes, literally, it takes me maximum six or seven, maybe eight minutes to edit that entire thing. So now the question is, what do you do when you're done? Because life is so much easier right now. Well, let me show you. First, I'm gonna show you a few other things. I can set a level here where if it's below negative 50 dB or something of that sort, that's what it's gonna filter out. So if there's some noise in your microphone, mine is pretty quiet. As you can see here, there's literally no sound when I'm not talking. So this generally will work for me. You might have to tweak that a little bit. You can then say, if the silence is more than 0.5 seconds, I want you to remove that. If the silence is shorter than 0.75 seconds, leave that in. Because I might just take a quick pause and then continue, but I want that silence to stay in. A lot of this stuff is set by default and it works pretty well, 
But if you notice there are any issues, like for example, how much time do you want on the left side of the audio? And how much time do you want on the right side of the audio? So when I'm finished a phrase, how much time do I want after that phrase? So for example, this is the end of a phrase. How long do I want this time right here to be? What I've noticed is certain videos, like when I do a short, I want that time to be very short. Once again, you don't have to do all of that. By default, it works pretty well. But I found that fine tuning this a little bit and clicking update silence detection, it really works well for me. Now, if you wanted to apply transitions, you can do that. It actually, you can use this program to fully edit your video. However, that's not what I do. I'm a Final Cut guy. What I will do then is I will come here and I say, export a Final Cut Pro XML file. I can even do a multi-cam. I can export a regular XML to bring into other programs. It supports Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Camtasia, Sony Vegas, and even have regular XML files that you can use to export into other programs. So you finish doing this quick edit, which takes you now five, six minutes, or even less, depending on how many mistakes you make. Now let's go into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you the beauty. Man, I don't even think you're ready for this, but I'm gonna show you anyway. I'm gonna come up here to File, and then I'm gonna go to Import, XML. I'm gonna go to My Export here and double click on it. That error shows up. I don't even know what it says, but it doesn't affect the video. And then I'm gonna click on the XML. And what you see here is the edited video with all of the cuts ready to go. I didn't have to go through and manually cut everything. It's just done. What kind of life is this? It's too easy. I love it. But now that I have it in Final Cut Pro, because this is what I use, I can then bring in my B-roll, stock footage, any images, any animations, and any of that stuff. Now, if you're just talking to the camera and that's all it is, you're done, dude. It's crazy. What kind of life is this? A beautiful one. And that's pretty much it. That's Time Bolt. That is what I am using right now. So a two hour process now takes me a few minutes and I could create more videos. I can create more content. I could serve my audience better. I can, I, I can do so much without having to hire a video editor. So if you wanna check it out, check out the link in the description. Once again, that is an affiliate link. So if you click on it, you purchase, I get a commission, you don't get charged anymore. It just goes to help me out and help out the channel. But as you can see, this thing, if you are editing video, it will save you time. And if it doesn't, then something is wrong. So let's use AI when it helps us, when it allows us to do our jobs better because then we can do more in less time and have more time to spend with our families and do whatever else we wanna do. My name is Essie Samuel, that's it for this video. Go check it out, save some time, and let's continue creating content.